We're back. These guys, during the break, they seem super depressed. They're doing some math. They're figuring out that this is a really tough encounter. Uh, I'm looking at Radosaurus when he was like, I want some more challenging map types and some harder fights. And now he's like, guys, I think we should we should figure out whether we're going to commit to this or not. You, do you feel challenged now? You're muted. No, I feel cheated. <laughs> what? Jesus. <laughs> Uh, well, I tried my best. <laughs> uh, if I'm recalling, we just we just rolled initiative, correct? <laughs> Arthur, uh, yeah, like, challenge so. me, and Arthur's just like, "You dead, bro? I kill you." So, so are you saying, Red, you want the illusion of challenge? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I'm 100 percent behind that. I love the illusion of challenge. Just like the illusion of choice, right? I don't want my decisions to really matter. I just want to feel like they might. That's really where, that's the sweet spot. Yeah, that's how visual novels work. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about uh, me and how I'm going to move. I mean, I love talking about me, so. This, did I start recording? Yes, I did. It would be really bad if I didn't. Eight. I think ultimately it's Citadel is going to try to get the bear regardless. Uh, oh, bear was like, you know what? I didn't like that. Citadel was just, I didn't like that Baron. I'm just going to. Well, it depends if there's a reasonable strategy to, like I said, to pull back and try and engage the small lance and draw the other lance forward is a, re is a reasonable strategy. Turn yeah. around and run away and say, screw this Baron is probably something that not, you know, being <laughs> the, the Steiner Knights are sort of like Knights of the Realm are unlikely to do. Yeah, I, I believe because what I was thinking was that we should probably switch and engage the the light lances coming in. You guys Knights. are up. Sounds good. Uh, I'll move. What round are we in right now? Let's see one seven, three, seven, three, four. So we have three more rounds before the light. They come shows. in on the eleventh round. Well, on the eleventh, so four more. So I'm just going to stand on the mountain and wait. I like plans that involve you standing in the open. I mean, I can take it. I know. That's why I like those plans. And I can deliver it back. Yep. Yeah. Thanks. Sorry, guys. I forgot to put the map on. Except these are clans. So they can deliver it back the same amount. <laughs> You're, yep. Mm -hmm. Two. Three. So I think Cotton, Rad, and I should just try and draw them into this area here. Like, we don't need to go all the way back, but if we can get out of sight, they've got to come forward to attack us. Mm -hmm. That seems to be working so far. They're coming forward. Yeah. Yes. So ideally, said you would want to join me. Or are you going to do your own thing? Draw them all to no, the I, side. I was absolutely going to join you. I was actually going to put uh, mountains between myself and the big mechs so I could more fully focus on the light mechs. You guys are up. He was actually going to climb on your back and pretend like he was an elemental. I'll go. <laughs> Use me as a big old meat shield. One, two. What turn are we on? I'm going to tell you guys, to be honest, I didn't expect we'd be going through these rounds so fast. I don't have all of the mech sheets and the uh, icons prepared. I thought for sure there's no way it would happen this week. So if we make it to round 11, we're going to have to stop for like five well, minutes, move off the map screen, and I'm going to have to load a fuck ton of shit in. Well, we're a bunch so of heavies and assaults trying to get I know. through I get it. 40, a 40 hex map in 10 turns. How would I, I know have... that we would have 15 minute intros in seven rounds? By the so half what you're time. saying, Arthur, is when you said 10 rounds, you were mumbling you meant 15 rounds. Yeah. <laughs> no, I said it would take 10 rounds for them to show up. <clears throat> is there a possible way that I could sensor up to maybe see if I could detect what Baron has? I'll tell you what. I will allow for this. However, should what? you fail, you will give away the Baron's position. You down to clown? How hard would it be? Is it an eight, a ten? Twelve. Twelve. Mm. Mm. You down to clown? You're gonna let out a highly intense burst. Question is, can you narrow the focus enough that the clans don't pick it up? Do you guys think I should do it? Chat's saying no. no. I'm saying yes. Do it. Rad, you're muted. Rad, you're muted. I don't know what you're saying. 
I know, I'm not talking to y'all, losers. Okay, my bad. Oh, okay. What, what, what will knowing what he has tell us, other than maybe his speed? His speed, essentially. If he's on foot, it's not worth it. Because, of course, we don't know if he's on foot, if he's in some sort of fast vehicle or not. If he's in a swift wind, that is incredible. <laughs> I'll put it on hold. Okay. Uh, by my recollection, it should be my turn to move then. Rad, you really need to take your die away. Come on, buddy. I'm always confused when I look over there and I'm like, did he move yet or not? Uh, conjurer, conjurer. I need to put down my guy. If the Baron spots, he has to reveal himself at the end of the round, and then he can start spotting. That would not be a good thing. Yep. He can't he can't move or anything unless he reveals himself at the end of a round. Uh, and then he can act in the next turn. Uh, the we don't have filler rooms to make spotting worthwhile. You guys are up as the Conjurer begins to ford the river and gets dysentery. Unfortunately, <laughs> mechs don't have digestive systems, so it's perfectly fine. All right, so we're going to try and draw him back then? Uh, I think it's the plan, yeah. Right, if you can so draw him back to me, I will start laying down fire. Actually, can I see? Am I in range of that Conjurer? That'd be fantastic. What do you got, Pondo? Uh, no, you are not. Yeah, Sid was counting for me. I'm pretty sure I'm like 24 hexes away. 25, actually. Ah, yeah, well. Only had that Bane mech that had 10 AC, Ultra AC2s or Clan Tech could shoot from 27 hexes away. Hmm. <sighs> Uh, did you guys move? Oh, yeah, yes, the victor, the victor moved. Oh, my goodness. Wow, you guys really are committing to the fade strategy. Ugh. 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 Come on, fight me. I mean, not just as the clanners, but also as me. I want to I wanna fight. I want to rumble. I want to samba. Bring out your light mix. Uh, one, two, Bring out three, your dead. four, five, six, seven, eight. Bold move, one that uh, almost lets me see that Marauder. Are these dice now the correct colors? As in, uh, uh, yes. yes, yes, very well. Your turn, Rad jumps behind me using his super triple jump jets, flash mans <laughs> my ass. <laughs> Oh, no, I don't know where it was. He activates his max and his supercharger. And his I think you're in the woods. Goes like 20 hexes. <laughs> he uses assault grade planetary lifters as jump jets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> My feet are actually leopard jump ships. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, your mech wouldn't even be in the correct skill rating. <laughs> Beyond super heavy. That's... That's some Gurren Lagann shit. What are you all gonna do? Trick I want to know. Actually, actually, put all my points in uh, aerospace pilot. So, did you, you want to pilot a lamb? Is <laughs> that where we're going? <laughs> the flashman falls apart, and one tiny little aerospace <laughs> fighter flies out of it, <laughs> and I just leave. I'm just like I'm out of here. I just see a so middle he's, finger. He's right? on our side still. Ready? <laughs> yeah. It's two people. It's Cotton. It's my right? turn and Cotton's turn. If he wants to move, uh, both of us are. Totally lost us to what we should do. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I'm seven. going super aggressive. You want to come <clears throat> come battle? No. You better call me guess. Nate because I want to battle. Come out and play. One, two, three. Yeah, jump AP, on top I'll, of that pillar, man. I'll do your favor, AP. I'm going to run up here. I'm <sighs> going to grab the Eula sheets. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, well, let me give you, like, uh,. You can give it to me when I pop back in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good call, good call. But you also need to grab the Euler tokens and the Kit Foxes. Uh, can do. 
I can find the elemental somewhere. How many can you one. jump, Cotton? You can jump three. She can jump three, so and she can run five. Well, I mean, you're not terrible where you're at because you got three trees. Yeah, I was, I was, I was trying to figure out because I can't move anywhere close enough to you guys. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I'm thinking right now. So, like, as soon as he gets up on this hill, mm-hmm. you're gonna be in trouble. I'm gonna be all about it. Well, I mean, not well, in when he gets up on the hill, I'm just gonna back up. So you outweigh that summoner, Cotton, yeah. and you, the other can't get a shot on you, so there's a good chance to actually move up and, and unleash that summoner. Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what I was about to say. The summon, You outclass that summoner. Um, you guys now, were saying that Clan Max is super strong. Now, before are, that happens, are. Cotton, it should be noted that there are an increasing number of people that can be spotted for that are sombing their way up. Uh, and, and while he is... A clan mech with superior technology, you you outweigh him by like thirty tons. You outweigh him by like more than a light mech. So, so DFA. If he jumped, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Radosaurus <laughs> solution. You've learned so much. Um, I'm so proud. No, as soon as he steps up there, you can start just fucking shooting at him. Um, what you don't want to have is all three of these dudes step up here and start shooting at you. That's what were you talking about? Spotted for. Yeah. So we he, did he, not talk about that in either of our game thing. Yeah, he is going to spot for that vulture, um, but it's going to be it's still going to be hard for him to hit you. You you would want to move this turn someplace to yeah, where if you come down, come down the, like um to the close to the pillar. You'll have three bits of wood between you. We won't be able to shoot at you this turn, and they'll have to come through the middle then. Okay. And then next turn, you'll have some options. If you want to dip behind something, you'll be closer to the pillar and be able to do that. So what was the key stroke for a ping again? Tap. Uh, tap. Get fucked. Yeah, I, I, see the, I see that pillar. I can't get close. I can't, I can get like here. That's still, it puts you out of sight. There's three woods between you then. Is it my turn to move or was it APs? It's your turn. You're the last oh, person. Oh, so I'm so sorry. I was waiting for you to like take your turn. Four. Look at this. We even got this cool community made little <laughs> el- custom elemental packs. Oops. I definitely should not have touched that one. I'm on my way back. All right, I need to group these things up. That's my mistake. Group these things. Ah, yeah, create state. Nope, that wasn't it. I'll fuck with it later. Do 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 do. Look, I don't really know how elementals work either. When the elemental combat starts, I'm opening up Twitter and going to the article that James wrote me about how to wreck people with elementals. Now, if I'm looking at this correctly, no one can see anyone to fight with. Is this is this correct? Um, that is correct. Very sure. well. Let us withdraw our dice. Rad. All right. Now I need to, uh, oops, I need to, I don't suppose I stepped on the Baron with, with my one guy that's like four hexes away. Baron? No. 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 Remote. Oh no, the mad. And now you should be able to drop stuff on the table. Not that I have an extremely large amount of room to play with here, but. It's control V, isn't it? To paste? Yes. Sure. Okay, well, I gotta go back out then. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, sorry, we're doing some cleaning up. It's now round eight. Roll some dice. 13. Looks like I won. Uh, Say, go ahead and move me to straight where I'm going. Move me up 
four. Now, I got it. I got it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Drop it. <laughs> Kids these days. Don't know, modify. Uh, it's, I, you know, I don't really bank on modifiers oh, sorry, when yeah, I'm yeah. in the Devastator. <laughs> Plus six to hit. That is correct. It didn't move enough to matter. That's why I put it on six. Oh, yeah, that's what, that's what I do in tournaments. You're so smart. Hey, you guys are up. You want to see the guy next if possible? I would love to go next. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Six. Theoretically, I should be able to face him. Okay. All right, I have moved. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Definitely don't want that devastator to get shots on uh, me. I mean, if you, I if you, if that's the best thing to do. One. In fact, just bring everybody out in the open and just try to shoot me. Seven, eight. You all are up. Rad, do you want to go next on it? Because you've got some more flexibility with weapon ranges. Um, is that me? It's my, oh, my microphone is making a weird noise. Um, I guess. Do you think it's time to? Reposition myself to shoot at somebody? I mean, this, this is well, he's probably going to move the summon to last. It'd be yeah. nice to get the summon in the crossfire, but he's going to hold that one to last. Um, but oh, right oh. now, it's hard for him to get much of a shot with anyone else. AP, We're not going to expose me. ourselves to much more. We don't want to, right? Give me the prevention again, because apparently it doesn't stay. <laughs> um, so I want to try and predict where the summoner might go. All right. Or at least cover some of his possibilities. So I could do one, two, three, four, five. Stay under some cover and maybe be able to shoot at him if he goes up on that hill. He could still hide himself from me, but that's a, not a net gain or loss okay it's not letting me do it i think he's going to stay low on the ground i think he's going to go on that kind of hill okay then i can do i can make it to here with eight it's a day control scene control. Yeah, if you want to get a shot try and get to one of the half cover positions all right i'd say that sounds yeah. like i'm gonna have to do some work pondo i think that's the best i can do i tried or maybe uh, force you guys into a fight here uh slow things down or, or are you saying i should stay lower I mean, that's good. You can shoot from there and you've got the benefit of partial cover. Yeah. Is there a more circuitous route you can run to get there to give yourself a higher modifier? Um, what did I do? One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven. No. Nope, that's it. That's the best I'm gonna do. No, it's, okay, so it's a one. Yep. Well, it's one with cover, cover, so better than nothing. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting, indeed. So this is your choice. <clears throat> Very well. Oops, that's the wrong mech. Four, five, six. Y'all are up. 
Well, I might go next. Oh boy. Is this, is this for real? Is this happening? <laughs> wow. That's a bold move. Uh, does the trees that you're in count towards three trees to block vision? It does, yes. Uh, then the timber wolf cannot see you? Counts for the attacker, not for the... So if you're in trees, you don't count the trees you're in for attack modifiers, but when you're being attacked, you do. Right, but I'm talking strictly for vision. The question is, can the yeah. Timberwolf see the vision? Yeah, it'll block the Timberwolf. Oh, no, the Timberwolf's on a high level. It's fine. Oh, see, so he's yeah. over the trees. Yes, okay. That works for me. Thanks. <clears throat> uh, magnets, how do they work? Magnets. One, two, three, four, five, six. That last step is going to give me some play here. Seven, eight. Go ahead, make my day. Is it my turn? It is. There are a bunch of people that are about to shoot this victor. If, if you want to shoot, you can shoot from here. Okay. Yeah, you can just get there with a rod. One, two, three, four. You can get there with a rod. If I jumped up, th if I got up there, um, would those trees count as the three so they can't see me? No, because you'd be upper level, so you'd be above the, level, the trees below that. You still get the benefit of one tree for your defense. Isn't it two since it's heavy, or? Oh, it's heavy, yeah, so dead two. That's right. So should I move there yeah, or over that's a, here? That's a good idea. I, I jump into the trees. Much better defense because you're going to get your two for the jumping, plus two for the trees, four defense straight away. Okay. Thank you. Can I turn after I've jumped? Yes, you can yes. face so any you direction you would like. Now, if you can just bait those guys over to my side of the cliff, that'd be great. And yeah. <laughs> that'd be great. <sighs> I feel like this always happens to us. We always get in these brawls, and, and our devastator is always like off somewhere doing something. <laughs> I was, I was, all right, I'm getting the fight. It's always such a struggle to get you into the fight. <laughs> You're telling me. I'm good. Uh, the best, the best one was that very first map with the Devastator, where it was just all wide open. Yeah. Nothing in the way. The summoner as as we... uh, just kind of walks in a circle in the in the square that he's in. Holds position. Does he not move? That's correct. Okay. I, mean, I that, can't shoot him, so that, that doesn't matter to me. <laughs> yeah, that victor is in a real nice spot for me. If I can point the Gauss rifles up, maybe they'll eventually fall. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> can, can I ballistically fire Metal Gear style? Just start shooting this hill until there's not a hill there anymore. Is this Minecraft? Yeah, pretty sure that's how it works. If I had the artillery, I could just vaporize the hill on my way. And that Let me just happens. get out my diamond pickaxe. Well, look, if you wanted to have artillery, you should have chosen to play as the artillery lance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good one, right? Could have bumped Pavel Radzik into the Devastator and you could have taken his <laughs> log tom. Uh, so let's talk about shooting. You guys are shooting first. No, Arthur, you told me taking other people's units was wrong. I will yeah. shoot by not shooting. I will let's, shoot by not shooting. Let's let's talk about someone on your side that actually can shoot. Which is the I, other three of us. Yes. I don't think I can shoot the summoner from where I'm at. You can because you're, it's hard to tell with the height of your figure, but you are a full height, like, like you know, a yes, half level uh, above okay. what's next to you, so you can shoot down on him. Any okay. hits to the legs that were going to just hit the mountain face in front of him. But the same if I shoot at the mad dog too, right? Like, yep. I don't need to. All right, then I'm going to shoot at the summoner, I guess, with three large lasers. 
show me the power of your rolls. Um, it's gonna be he didn't move, so and I'm a three I'm a three three pilot. What can you, uh, you throw in your? I got medium laser on there. At a base of five. Five. No, I start throwing in medium lasers to start getting too hot. I. That's right. the idea with a flashman. Wait. You're supposed to cook yourself. Oh, okay. Then I'll shoot I some mean... of those too. Uh, I sink. <laughs> you, you do, you rats. <laughs> I, I sink thirty. Uh, I think you can laser. fire all your larges in one me medium when you're fine. Yeah. Well, because uh, medium lasers only three heat, larges are eight, so it's twenty four plus three. You shoot twenty seven. So yeah, you can shoot an extra medium laser in there just just for the hell of it if you want it. Doesn't he get a plus one for partial cover? So you'd be shooting at a base of six. Yep. Six. So, so I'm shooting at six. And eight for medium. Six for short, eight for medium, ten for long. Six for short, eight for medium. All right, I'll start with my three largest and then shoot one medium. There is large laser first hit. hit. In oh. the two. No. Oh. Center torso does not crit. No. All right, well, that's fine. That's eight damage. Wait, um, can we put? No. <laughs> no, we're not going to start edging the crit roll. <laughs> and then I'm going to large laser <laughs> again, and that will hit in the seven. So this is, sorry, eight damage to the summoner yep. and the center torso, correct? Yep, and then eight Twice. damage to the seven. Which is also uh, center torso again. It's also center torso. For six, so eight more. Two, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then third large laser, large laser will also hit uh, in the right torso for another eight. None of this is sounding good. I mean, sounds great. great to me. And then I need an eight for this medium laser. Nah, I think you, think you, you got it. it. You got it. You need a ten, but you got it though. Oh, did uh, I? Left yeah, arm. It's long range for the medium laser. Oh, it is long range for the mediums. Yep. Still got it. Left arm. Then the left arm. Five. Takes five. Takes five. Okay. I mean, you put down sizable amount of damage. You there did you damage. Suck on that summoner. Stay standing. Uh, the summoner the, will suck on that, and then he'll the fire. The new pilot the opens up with a volley of 100% accuracy. Is that light or heavy woods that you're in? Light woods. Uh, light. Okay, so let's talk about this. Three, four, five, six. Uh, and at this distance, he's not taking any penalty. Oh, and seven for your partial cover. Yep. Okay. Uh, we'll go. LBX. And he has tre trees and PPC. Yeah, it's a seven. Uh, LBX here, PPC, LRM. That's a hit. Center torso for uh, 10. Right. Oh, yeah. Of course it is, because it's a uh, auto cannon. Yeah, he only has slugs too, so that's yep. a thing. Yeah, but I don't really use cluster much. Yeah, I actually don't like cluster, so uh, that's a miss. And the LRMs are a hit. With uh, a rating what's the size? Seven, is it I think it's a 15. 12 seven missiles. is a 12. The first uh, five hit. That's, Left torso. Uh, LRM 15, seven is nine, not 12. Nine missiles. Is it 15? Yeah. Okay. I thought it was 12. I, I figured since it's clan, it'd be 20 just because it's like half the weight. Left arm uh, yep. for five or for four. Got it. Okay. That covers the summoner. You guys are up. So Cotton should fire on the summoner next because I've got SRMs to quit seek. So she puts the big weapons on the summoner. I, I was going to okay. ask if I could fire actually. Yeah. yeah. I think I want to stay in just my medium range, or is it going to build a heat if I do all of uh, the you lasers? You could... I know the I lasers mean, are long. Both your PPCs. They're like really bad. Uh, yeah, but, my gospel might my PPCs. You jump, so you, you might not want to. Uh... Uh, she dissipates uh, 32. If you did, you did both of your PPCs in the gas rifle, that's a total of 31 heat plus the jump is 34. So she's only going to build two heat from doing that. 
Could just go okay. for it. You're not going to have a lot of opportunities where your opponent stands still, so... Oh, yeah, gonna... I'll, I'll shoot my two PPCs and my Gauss Rifle at him. Yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll and I think it's... I think it's three for the jump. Yep, yep. Um, Sorry, my right. pilot. It's a five. And then... You're at medium range. Medium, medium range, medium, everything. Right? Yep, so you're shooting... 57. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Gauss Rifle's first and then misses. Uh, I'll, sp I'll spin a point. Is that location or is that crit? That's crit. What's location? Location is four. What side though? Uh, is she forward shooting freight for it. Okay. If you want to spin a crit, Sid, go ahead. Um, I mean, uh, spin an edge. Yes, I'm going to spin an edge. Let's okay. reroll it. Go ahead and reroll the cotton. Okay. Uh, seven. Uh, it hits. Seven, so seven, hit, 15 yep. to the right arm. And this is on the summoner? Summoner. Yeah. Yes. Okay, 15 to the right arm. Get some damage. All right, so your first ER PPC. Yep. For seven. I really don't like it there. This also has seven. That hits. Was, where does it hit at? Uh, right arm like takes location. ten. I still don't understand how crits work in this damn game. So I just say oh. right arm takes ten damage. Summoner. Yeah, so it's, it's taken twenty five so far on the right arm. Two. Uh, four, five, six. If it goes seven, through, it does. It ten, does ten. get a crit. That is ten damage. One crit. Yep. Yeah, it's only one dice. So I got one. I got stuff in the die. top. Is there anything good in that arm? I don't think so. Yeah, PPC. Yeah, PPC. The right arm? Uh, yeah, that's actually good. Nope, yeah. it's the shoulder hit. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that makes it difficult. I mean, that arm's almost gone. That's the main thing. And for my last PPC, are you ready for that? Yep. Oh, well, I hit a tree. Uh, wait, I was going to spin an edge <clears throat> for you to hit, but I didn't know where I was going to hit. I, I didn't it. touch it. It was me. I hit the 2d6 button instead of update because it was a six. <laughs> well, so earlier when Cotton had a 12 for a crit, but nothing happened. Well, it, no, it, it didn't it go did, through. Didn't. So how do you determine yeah. if stuff goes through armor or not? Internal damage. It has to be hitting internal. the internals. But aren't there through armor crits? Yes. Yeah, on that's a on location of two. Yep. On the two. Oh, location. How much, yes. how much center torso armor does it have? Got it. Probably not much. Got like 12 left or something. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> That's why it's all off kilter. There's a die there. Well, that does hit the center torso. It would be worthwhile to do that, I think. I'll spin an edge for it to hit, so it hits 10 of the center torso. Be enough to at least remove the armor. Uh, it's at least getting mostly there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's two armor left. That's two points left. Uh, She's that's still looking pretty damn stripped, though. Where? We have shredded it. We have paved the way for the Citadel to crit seek. Well, it's the mad dog time. It's Tonga time. I think it's Tonga time. Um. Hmm. What's my most efficient move here? I think it's going to be leaving the LRMs off and just firing pulse lasers all day. I think your most efficient move would be to retreat. I think you can fuck off. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're still building like 10 heat. Yeah, I'm aware. Look, man, I got to make some bold strokes. Actually, 12 feet, I think. No, Gus, no galaxy. Exactly. All right, so they're both at medium range. So it's uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 11. Then the pulse lasers drop it back down to a nine. That's not really a good proposition for me. Aiming at nine. Go for it. No, how about you fuck off? I'm just going to fire alarm oh. 20s all day. Maximum efficiency. Um. Yeah, I think the LRM 20s and the medium pulses I can fire without too much problem. 
God, you're so cool, Mad Dog. <laughs> Where were we, planners? All right, let's do. Meeting pulses. I'm for nine. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, right leg, so that misses. It's the ground. Nope. And then long range LRM firing. That's a miss. And that's a miss. Takes right. it. the ground. Looks like right now. Yep. Yeah. All right. I'm an eight for everything on the summoner. Yeah. So I start with the uh, AC. Seven. I will. I will edge point that one <laughs> if I can. Have I, have I still got edge back? You have two points of edge. All right, well, now I've got one left, and that'll be 20 damage to the torso. <laughs> Doesn't crit, though, unfortunately. No. Uh, but, uh, it, it he's not in the bridge. He is, he is yeah. at, like, four points of health in the center torso, yes. though. Oof. Has That's... been a very favorable round for us. I feel much better. I mean, we're still probably going to die, but I feel much better about my life. All right, medium laser. Hit him in the center torso. I'll hit. Uh, that, that's a hit in the right, left side, left arm. Left arm. Four, five. Okay. Give me that center torso. That's room four is a miss. Uh, I'll spin an edge for you to re-roll that. Because it will hit okay. the center torso if it does. That's your last edge, right? Oh, that's wait, it. no, never mind. It's SRM, so no. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, I, will, I will not spin the edge. edge. It would, never mind. You guys yeah, can't stop too. bothering out your edge. It's incredible. Watch. Well, this is very <laughs> much of we should probably use it if we can. Yeah, if we have an opportunity to put one of them down, <laughs> we should we should try and make it happen. All right, let's talk about Hellhounds. Uh, I'd like to spend two points of edge to cause two points of damage. To... <laughs> yeah, One, two, three, right. Five, six, seven, eight. If I have a possibility of headshot, I'll just dump all my head my edge into that headshot. Uh, so it's me. Yeah, I will do that. Especially if it's a Gauss rifle. <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't you? <laughs> I wouldn't have edge prop because I could use it later, maybe. Yeah, but it takes a it takes a mech right off the battlefield. Yeah, right? it was great for that Ryan that it did that one time. <laughs> I think three or four edges is well worth their cost in eliminating an, a heavy clan mech. Yeah, yeah. I just need them to get in my range. That'd be great. Yeah, I, I think. Something tells me they're purposefully not being in your range. Yeah. I don't know why, but I just think that might it's be a right strategy. Uh, uh, Hellhound's going to fire its large pulse laser, aiming at a 10. I mean, obviously, you just need to get on the comms and start I will uh, spend an edge to bump that up to a head hit. Listen, I will spend an edge to make you re-roll. Given a shit yeah, It's about. not a thing you can actually do. I thought that's what you can do. No, nope. nah, I think we had decided we. I think maybe you can, but we had decided we're not doing that. Yes. Uh, so your head takes ten points of damage from a large pulse laser. Otherwise, otherwise it just turns into an edge war. That is. Uh, believe it. Hold on a second. I'm still with damage from before. There's damage on this mech from previously. Is that right? You, no, that's incorrect. Uh, that's... You're okay, you're no fully healed. So okay, you so they'd be down to one internal. Uh, two internal. <laughs> <laughs> two internal. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, so that's, um... Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I need you to take, make a consciousness roll for taking some damage there, because you, you get you get a little toasty. Did you get double ones? Yeah, no, that's fine. You're good. Did you get double ones? Uh, yeah. I mean, the, the conjurer like stops and and drops down from the sky, and then like Mega Man Buster arms. Uh, you're sitting there smoking fire down on the summoner, cackling, and then all of a sudden your your cockpit's exploding around you as laser needles begin spraying glass from your shattered cockpit. It's, bad. it's okay. He, he lights a cigar with one of the laser needles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they will have one of those. They're gonna have one of those. Oh. Do you it's either? Do you guys have any possible shooters left? I think that's it. I think it's back to the man. Yeah, I don't think I can take a pot shot at anybody at the moment. Two, three, four, five, six. Unless seven, I can somehow see the summoner from where, the, where I am. 13, 14. But I don't think I can. Can this guy, can the mag cat actually see you? I think you're too low for him to see. And I didn't spot. So that is actually the round for me. The good news is 
if citadel I... dies we have no motivation to stay here we'll just run away that's true that's the good news <laughs> <laughs> let's withdraw our movement dice For you guys <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you would just come back with a different character. It's fine. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Next week, you'll play the Baron. <laughs> I'll just stay here. Don't mind me. <laughs> yeah. Comes back with a character named Hauser Adrian. His new call sign is Fortress. <laughs> uh... Do you guys want a second to do some tactical planning, or are you good to just go into this round? Um, so, for for the sake of our side down the bottom here, I think it's better if if Cotton and I trade place in terms of who's the most favorable person to hit. I agree. Um, to try and spread the spread the love, so to speak. Yes, yes. If you can also bait them to get over here, that'd also be great for me. Well, we can come back behind. I mean, so the, the summoner and the um, the hellhound are both quite fast. So they, they can crest that hill in one turn pretty much. Someone's got a run of eight. Um, so we could get back behind the hill and that will, the mad dog can't get up there, but the other two possibly could. I mean, I could help out if you, if I could. What's I think that, at this point, what's having... that uh, commander to commander fight? It's a trial for trial position. What? Yes. Trial of position. That's not something you can declare because you're not Is a it... true born. We can't claim stuff like that because they have they're doing like an annihilation. Yes, us, right? there's already an ongoing trial. You can't supersede it with another trial. You can declare whatever you want. Whatever yeah, they're, they're just going to ignore you. I declare one, two, three, four. I declare a <laughs> thumb war. <laughs> Very well. Our trial of grievance shall be settled by thumb so war. Be it. Say la, Trothkin. So, <laughs> compared to Trimble, you could either do trade places with the Victor and the Marauder, or you guys could try to move behind the mountain. So that way, they get in the open of me to shoot them. I'm yeah, cool. I think I think let's go behind the mountain and bring them over to us. Yeah, I think that's cool. I think the I think Victor needs to straight up get out of line of sight entirely. Um, that's the only way you're gonna not be the favorable target. Now that you've taken that headshot, that is a very uh, enticing uh, mech to shoot at. Yeah, I mean, I can get to here. Okay. Which puts me behind a level two. Which means if they want to keep shooting at him, they'll have to crest that hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. So are we moving first? What's happening? We Can need we a make yeah. tactics roll. I oh. just oh, wanted okay. to make we sure that discussing. you guys could it. discuss it. Yeah, we yeah, are yeah. now in the ninth round. This okay. and the next round are the ones where you will be clan light mech free. Uh, that turned into a garbage roll. It was so much better. Wow. I can't see anything that's going on. What? What's? What's happening? Yeah. Can you edge initiative? Hold on. Hold on. I don't know if we really need to. All right. I don't know. This might be one of those rounds well, I mean, you don't really want to lose. Now, so initiative is starting to matter a little more. Yeah. Why don't you guys go ahead and make a move? Uh, All right. Cool. It sounds like like a great plan. Yeah, bust a move here. I'll move. Yeah, I'll right. move by not moving is what Sid says. I so I've started saying mind. that in my own Battletech game as well, which my players think is really weird. I'll move by not moving. Yes. I've copied that from you guys. <laughs> You're welcome. We are a bad influence on everyone. <laughs> All right, I moved. Man, there's so many people that that came back to watch the show again. I'm super happy to see them in chat. I thought we might lose them when we didn't have a show for three months. Was uh, it for three months? Only for like two. It was like two and a half, and it was during the holidays, which is when everyone wants to watch BattleTech, but they can't. Mm. It was so bad, the worst. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Yeah, go ahead. You guys are up. Uh, you guys want me to move? Yeah, sure. It sounds fantastic. That's my move. I am about to lag the server out again. I can tell. <laughs> and the other one is you were. Uh, no, the real lag starts now. Empire, our real battle starts now. The real lag is the friends we met along the way. 
I mean, it's the Eulers I pull out of these bags. And that loaded surprisingly fast. And just rename one to A. A. What's think, next? Uh, those adders, those adders look like mini dire wolves. Good. That's what they're supposed to be. Uh, are they? So I always thought the Kit Foxes are cool, man. Yeah, they're little PPC platforms. Yeah, that's, they're really annoying. Thanks. Really annoying. Let's... We fought them three times. Is it now. Now? Indeed they're it is. They're super fast for the high damage output. I'll jump. They're like Pretty six nice. nines. Not you think fast. you can just jump around? Jump, 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 jump around. Jump, jump. Around. Jump, jump. Jump up, up jump up, down. and get down. What yeah. are we doing? What's, what's going on? Uh, I suppose what's going to happen next is I am going to coming around the mountain. Hmm. When she got a star of five ERPPC direwolves into the scene. <laughs> so, wow, AP did not want us using his characters anymore. <laughs> that was but they're from a rival clan. They kill everyone. <laughs> Wow, AP did not want us playing these characters anymore. Bum, 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 bum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a weird move, but I'll take it. It is a weird move. You're a coward and your but mother is a move that I can see you at. I think it is, actually. Your mother was a hamster and your father's No, stole there's no way. Is there not? I have a double. I have a double. triple level in front of me. I'm a level above that. It's true. He's on level four. Aha! 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 And uh, it looks like my line of sight is supersedes that level three. You guys are up. <clears throat> can you at? Can you see that far? I'm uh, pretty yes. sure I can. He's at 21 hexes and he needs 22. So Pretty goss. that would be let's see 22 minus 21. <laughs> Carry the seven. Mm, I guess I will. I guess the plan is to dip around this hill. So I'll continue to do that. Nothing. Multiply. I also by want to be able to shoot at somebody. Divided by nothing. Can you step down off a of level two? Yeah, you can. Yeah, it just so cost, requires, requires two. Cost an extra it one. Costs okay. three instead of two. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Not really sure what I'm doing. You're, five, you're like visible <laughs> when you move out that extra space. Six. Uh, I guess I could just do that. I mean, that works. Uh, you want to make it a run? Go seven, eight. Is that we build a modifier? I mean, Either that or you could actually keep yourself facing the other way and then torso twist and you can then shoot after only walking. So you move, you move three hexes, you need to go, or so you go to there still, uh -huh. but then, um, then stay facing this way. Uh -huh. And then you can torso twist and still shoot at the mad dog, not at the summoner though. Sounds but I mean, you've only, you've only walked, so it's only a plus one, and you've. See, I don't think you. they're going to shoot at me anyway, though. Plus, yeah. you're I, mean, I mean, they might, but plus, you're presenting your side arc instead of your forward arc, so it just works for me. All right, so I'm gonna do that. Sorry, this isn't that, that's a walk, right? So isn't that a walk dice? Oh it's yeah, sorry. Five. Now somebody's gonna go back and keep looking for our buddy. I don't know why it matters that we do walk or run dice. Someone explain that to me. Because it's a plus one for you to hit when you walk, plus two for you to hit when you run. Oh, so it, it only matters in what what you're when you're shooting. What are shooting? Yeah, yeah. And, and and your heat as well. Yeah, we're gonna hit. I I guess I always. I always calculate that separately from what my designated dice is, but that makes sense. So the summer's trying to turn his torso away, so he gets less hits on the center torso. Uh, Cotton, you're up. Girl. 
What they don't expect is that we actually shoot at the rear arc. So does the negative two heat do anything to my movement or anything? Uh, nope. No. Nope. Uh, nope. You're only at two, so... You yeah, two. Five heats where you start to lose movement. But you can jump all day. Jump. I was wondering if it'd be a bad idea to jump into the other heavy woods so I can meet you guys up the next round. That's probably, not a, probably not a terrible idea. Think about which way you want to face. Yeah, that's probably... I can face you guys so I can just run. Get around the yeah, hill you can that closer way. towards the hit pretty much any of them. Yeah, that's fine. Mm. And you do have a side arc on the summoner that you can hit as well. And you can still hit the center torso at the side arc. Mm. And pretty much any of your weapons could pierce through that rear torso. Actually, no. It's Sorry, like, is, that? Hit is, is she facing the right way? She's facing towards the other mix? I mean, she can torso twist to face this way and then... Yeah, yeah so that's the question, okay, Cotton. Did you mean to face that particular direction? Well, I asked if I should face that way or if I should Well, if you face, face that way, you can run. Five. Yeah, I said if I face this way, I'll be able to get closer to where you guys move next round around the hill. And then you said I could torso twist and still hit them. Well, I think that the problem here is, I think that can't the Hellhound get in your rear arc if you do that? I have no, no idea. Not, not through the woods and that. It won't have enough move to get over those hills or through the woods. One, two, three, four, five. Couldn't he jump right here? Shoot you in the back arc. Yeah, uh, that's true. I'm going to put him in the back arc on that hill there. Okay. I'm going to face them then. Uh, face this way. Yeah, that would be perfect, I think. Oh, was that be a rear arc from there? Ah, I so. better say yeah, that would be a rear arc. Rear arcs are weird. Because you go two back and then two back and then V out. Yeah. So you go one, two, and then. Yeah, that would be. All right. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Does that get me where I want to go? Where I'm hidden from all of you? I think so, right? Nobody can see this guy. Uh, maybe me. Yep. I can check. Um, I'm pretty sure. I mean, he has a two level that's like right in front of him. I mean, he's. I'm pretty sure I mean, Rad can. Still... I'm on a fourth level though. And Ondo could still get it. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You're in 20, range. 22. Yeah. I can still hit it technically. I'll take it. Okay, I believe that uh, locks in this particular round. Let's talk about shooting. You guys are shooting first. Uh, who are we want to shoot at? Who are you guys going to shoot at? Well, I think the most of us can shoot at the Mad Dog. Is that accurate? I, I don't think can't. The Victor can. Do we want Cotton no, to I'm shoot completely at hidden. I, I can't shoot and they can't shoot me. Do you want Cotton to shoot, try to shoot at the summoner to maybe take it out, or we just want to pile in on the mad dog? I don't know. The summoner. Cotton, coming, coming, sorry, Cotton, do you have a movement die? Oh, sorry. At one. Yeah. I had one on the cell. I don't know why I put it. Uh, I think I would rather remove the summoner's yeah. weapons from play. Uh, Rad took the jump die that he doesn't jump with. Oh, it's blue jump? Yes. Blue jump. What the fuck is a rock? Green. Oh, okay. Did you forget everything, Rad? See, Rad doesn't play for two months, and now he just doesn't know how to play anymore. He used oh, to be, yeah. he'd be like, everything you just did there is wrong. Let me redo all the math for you and explain to you. Well, remember, all I ever used to do is jump, so. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you got no reason not to jump. I had no reason not to grab a jump die, because that was the only die I ever needed. So the question is, who shoots first on your team? Uh, I mean, yeah, I think if you have shots of the summoner, maybe you should just try to take the summoner out. And then the rest of us can shoot it. The, the rest of us being me and Pondo can probably shoot at the Mad Dog. Is that your best shot, Pondo? Or are you better off shooting? I, I'm pretty sure it's actually, yeah, the Mad Dog will be my best shot. All right, me and Pondo will shoot at the Mad Dog, and Cotton will try to finish off the summoner. I'll stand here infinitely. Should I fire waiting. one less PPC this time to not gain two more heat? Probably. No. Well, that only put you on four, though, as well, so you still wouldn't be... I, you got to two, didn't you? 
Yeah, she's at two. Are you yeah, counting? Sorry. Are you counting Being the jump heat? Fine. Yeah, you could push yeah. it for another round, and then you'll have to take it easy the next round. Okay. So uh, my question again is, who's shooting? I think we're just gonna have Cotton shoot first. Okay. That's a, that's a who's the target? Shoot at the summoner. Okay. Ten X's, one tree cover. So it's medium range. Yeah. The left side. Uh, there. So Dang. two. Two. She jumped for three, so five. They only had a movement of one, so six. Uh, the tree in away, so seven. So seven. seven eight. So you're shooting at nines. Nine. Nice. All right. Here's the the gas rifle first. That's a seven. Uh, Where does it hit? That's uh, what I need to know. I'll spin an edge. Left torso. Left oh, torso. No, that's not. That's, not, that's right. Not, never mind. Oh, uh, I think we should just take the miss. Yeah. Aren't you out of edge? You you uh, already spent two points of edge. I only out. spent one. Uh, yeah, it's only spent one. And I think I was going to spend I did, one. I, on one too. one. Hmm. I was going to spend one for the hit on the SRM, but okay, yeah, right. I, I didn't go with it because it was only. I want to know how much edge Cotton's character has. The Queen of Edge. She better have like eight. I eight. heard she had the most <laughs> edge. Uh, I think she has like four. I actually really? don't know how much edge I'm supposed to have. It's on. It's your character sheet. It's your edge amount. You get one point of edge for every hundred. For every hundred what? Oh, every I, hundred XP. I got it. I got it. I got it. I found it. Yeah. What do you right. got? Two. No. Okay. Well. Uh, she is newly edgy, though. Are we? Saying. Are we spending edge? She's, newly. Yes, She's no. trust fund edge. Uh, no, no, I, I, was just, I was just. I, no. Yeah. No. Go I'll ahead. Just go with no. my uh, PPC next. Quick rules question. Yep. Um, as I seem to recall, you could spend a point for point after the roll. Can't you spend a point to get two? Two before points before yes. the roll. Yes. You can. Wait. What? I'm going to spend a point of edge to give Cotton a plus two on her next roll. Okay. Nice. Good luck. First PPC. That eight. would give you an eight. That's not just in a miss. Need okay. a nine. Nine, nine. Damn it! In what location? The it's right arm. arm. Uh, Left arm. Going no, right nice. arm. Sorry. PPC. Uh -huh. PPC two. Well, that could have finished uh, off the. Nice. That could have finished off the right arm. Uh, uh, no, it was uh, the left arm. That's oh. the right leg. Oh, it's the right leg. Uh, I mean, that'll hit. So, how much damage back. is this PPC? 10. But it's this right leg? Yeah. Works for me. Two, three. By the way, Arthur, did you ever do a piloting roll for that guy for the last turn for 20 points of damage? He, uh, yep. He did. I think he made it. He did. He, did. Yeah. he nailed it easily. He got a nine. He got a bit for Mike guy hitting, taking that much. Yes. Anything else, Cotton? I don't think I can do anything else. Then update your update your uh, heat counter. Oh. Four, eight. Okay. All right. So I'll go. Wait, no, it's your turn, AP. Yeah, well, you it's my turn. Chill your shit out. What the heck is wrong with you, friend? It's I'm, I. I finally got to shoot this entire time. That's. Excited. I mean, I'd be excited <laughs> if I got to shoot, but. <laughs> We're getting ass. <laughs> Uh, 10 to the Marauder. Mm -hmm. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well. For issue. Mm -hmm. I'm going to declare. S Do I need to spot? Can I see with. Uh, the don't map? you declare that by the end of the movement phase? Yeah, probably. No, you declare spotting in the shooting phase. Then I shall uh, do so. The summoner will spot for. I asked whoever. about spotting last time. Yes. I believe I said it was you could spot. So spotting still is the ability to fire. Uh, you one you use one max targeting location data to fire with. Uh, so you can fire like over trees or around mountains and stuff. So for instance, if the summoner spots the mad cat, which can't see you, can now fire its missiles at you. Okay. 
It's basically used for missiles and artillery. Okay. Okay, so we start at three, uh, four for spotting, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then distance is 10, 11. And from my left side, I can shoot the auto cannon and the LRMs. Aiming for 11s. No. And no. Okay. You guys are up. I'll shoot. Uh, I'll shoot the mad dog. I'm shooting at eights. Okay. Sorry, two walked for three. He walked, he ran, but only modifier one, so it's four. And long range makes it eight because I don't have the sniper thing yet. Uh, shooting both Goss, so Goss one. That will hit. Uh, location five. I Four think I'm hitting a front arc. It's forward arc, yep. Forward arc. Right leg. So 15 to the right leg. This is a mad dog, yep. One, two, three, four. 15, okay. Second one for eight. Uh, where's that hit? Center torso. I've spent an edge of a hit. Is that worth it? Is it worth it? I'll spend a point of edge on that. Okay, well, never mind. It goes for it. All right. <laughs> Is that all of your edge? No. You have three points of edge. I have four. Jesus. He's been investing in his edginess. <laughs> So 15 is center torso. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I mean, okay. he's basically the Robert Downey Jr. of our team, right? Like, he's a recovered drug addict. He was super successful when he was young. He met with Elon Musk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now he's just like the coolest fucking dude on the planet. Uh, anything else? Career around. Uh, that's all I can shoot at him, because I'm pretty sure I'm like 21 hexes away. So I can't shoot my... I right. are 21 hexes away. So I can't shoot my PPCs. Six. That's okay. I can't shoot anything. Mad Dog's going to shoot. <laughs> I'm just trying to contribute where I can with what I can. So. Uh, although I did kind of open up the center torso a bit for red. Yeah. It's yeah. prime. What it's prime. At? Peel back the layers of that onion. Four or five. <laughs> it only Six. has eight points left. So. Seven. That's Eight. a large laser. Who does? The vulture. Really? A yeah. Bahama. Not a not a not a oh. not a critter. I was like, shit, you done good. That's uh, also a leg's messed up, so you know, there's that too. Nice. Well, I, have a, I think I only uh, he doesn't have cover from me, does he? No, so. he does not. Okay, and it's like sevens. He has to be right next to the hill for the cover to apply. Uh, sevens from my large and nine from my medium. Uh, Actually, I'm no, sure. I'm out of range for medium lasers. I can only shoot my larges. Okay. Yeah. Uh, miss with a large. That's great. Eight. You should be able to hit long range. Oh, is it eight? eight? One, two, three, three, yeah. four, five, six, miss, seven, eight. Oh, no, you're right. And... We could hit that. Miss. Hit that wow. Long range. I miss literally all of the lasers well, against that's cotton. That's ideal for us, really, because yeah, uh, you're I mean, about to get like. These rules are fucking horrible. And I just four more guys. Because my immediate attention heat. is going to go from those guys to this light mechs that. <clears throat> ideally, the light mech that has the, the elementals, actually. Yeah. Uh, you guys are shooting. All right, I'll shoot uh, three large lasers for sevens at the vulture. You want to shoot your medium? I will shoot my medium, but I will shoot it last. Yep. Uh, and I will be at a nine. So here's my first seven. That's an eight. Yeah, that'll do it. So that's going to uh, hit Center him. torso does not crit. And the center torso. So it just wipes away all the armor left. For eight damage. And then another large laser. Hopefully a seven. No, nope, doesn't look great. No. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. Where does it hit? Um, where does it hit? In the six. Oh, we don't care about that. I'm shooting front, right? Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, third large laser. No, all right. Right torso for how much? No, no, I uh, no, missed. Okay. That but now I do hit him what? in the so left torso so so for eight. Can I spin a point of edge to decrease the look? <laughs> no. <laughs> and then uh, I need a nine for this last medium laser. 
and I'll get it. Oh god, it was almost so <laughs> close. No, no it was worthwhile. Also in the six. All right. I mean, it's we're doing damage. Yeah. I don't know how much damage they're doing to us though, but not a lot, really. I think they've been missing mostly. I mean, they? not yet. Who's yeah. taking shots? Cotton took a couple shots. No, Cotton's no, fine. he's shooting at me, but he's, one, this two, is the ones that he's missed. Three, four, five. He's hit. He's definitely hit uh, Citadel a lot. Yeah, Citadel's the only one that's taking a beating. I have been lucky enough to take a beating. He shot a lot. And really, most of that beating was just a single face shot. It's five. The rest of it's pretty superficial. Eight, nine, ten. And that's not even including range modifiers. I'll take a total of 29 last round. Okay, well, that sounds like a lot when you say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, 29 out of 184. Wow. That's, that's a wow. It was spread out good, though. Wow. Can I reroll double ones or does that lock my, sh my shit in? Oh, or let's just say it locks it in. No, Was you... that an attack or? No, it's the standing round for the vulture. Oh, right. It's taking twenty points of damage. Right. Fall down, bitch. You fall down. What clan is this again? Scrub Steel Jaguars. Viper. Steel oh, okay. Viper, sir. I think we used to do it if we had double ones. We had edge. We could re-roll it. Yes, I'm definitely. Uh, I mean, I got five points, six <laughs> points of edge, right? No, I have five points of edge. Yeah, more than enough. All right, now I have four. Great. Uh, what can I medium range these? Ember wolf. 14 hexes. Are all these creepy little bastards on the uh, field already? Or they're just no, chilling they, they have there. like uh, yeah, two they're children. Coming. They come in on the 11th. 14. Right. Jesus. All right. All around 20s are shooting at 12s. That's a 10. It's not a 12. <laughs> Uh, he's, he's thinking about dumping his I, edge into it. I am. I am thinking about dumping my edge into it. I'm so desperate to put any damage on the field. <laughs> like, you guys you guys are firing at me, and all my dudes are taking a fuck ton of damage, and I shoot back, and I'm just missing constantly. It's well, extremely here's the thing. You're really like four more dudes coming in, and you, you outpower yeah. I Listen, it I don't need you to patronize me, motherfucker. <laughs> I need you to fall over and die in a laser barrage. <laughs> If it makes you funny, but I missed all my shots on you last round. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's true. No, you hit one. No, you, no, you missed. Did you hit? I yeah, you, I, I, you hit in the leg once. Oh, okay. That's right. You did hit one. Yeah, just not did. not in a place we wanted to hit. There. We were hoping for a sneak the center torso shot. We've still got that one mech playing super cautiously now that we've beat the shit out of him. Six, yeah. seven, I mean, there's two of them that have gotten the shit, the crap knocked out of them. And who knows, eventually we might even bring our fifth mech to bear in this fight if he stops yeah. fucking around back there behind a the hill. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. waiting for the light mechs, dude. Let <laughs> us let us withdraw <laughs> our dice. Lamps, so. <laughs> they'll also be scared to pop out because I'm now in position. I'm going to love when those light mechs pop out and they're like, ha ha, and they take a gun rifle shot to the face. Hi. No, when, when they appear in the bottom right hand corner, like you know, where the, where the mechs are currently, and you guys yeah. are so far out of range, it's I ridiculous. Mean, that's, that's, <laughs> fine. that's fine because it's wide open there. It's that stupid hills in my way. Um, you all get a broadcast from the timber wolf. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, hello. I believe this is the clan mechs who are facing us. How are you doing? This is Charlie. Wait. You're, Hi, Charlie. Wait, 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 back up. Hold on now. You're, you're a clan pilot. Your name is Charlie. Star Captain Charlie. That's better. Thank you. Thank you. I was hoping I wasn't facing some plebeian. What can I do for you? From the heavy boa star, we knew that you fools would come running if we attacked your allies. Predictable. You fell right into our trap, just like intelligence said you would. I mean, we knew it was going to be a trap to begin with, so we didn't really fall into anything. In fact, we just stepped into it. Then prepared to be crushed, inner sphere scum. Don't cry. We so will destroy you. We will destroy your baron. We will destroy your families. We will destroy your children. Mm -hmm. We will destroy uh, your well, artifices. Family. Everything that makes you inner sphere scum will be crushed under the steel viper's heel. 
You couldn't even find a Baron. How are you going to destroy him? I had to, oh. I was going to raise that question. <laughs> he closes communications. <laughs> oh, man, that was... Huh. He got savage, sir. He didn't take it too well. Don't sass the black rabbit. Let's roll. Damn straight. She get you. Uh, I have a 12. Oh, we're, did you roll? We're, yeah, we're I, doing that thing where you roll dice. Uh, I got a 10. Uh, it sounds like you guys are moving first. Okay. I'll move by not moving. I see. I am in position. This is where I need to belong. I forgot I forgot everybody's call signs. I was gonna make a quip, but I'm like six. Seven. I can't remember. <laughs> He's like, no, there's two people here. <laughs> there's people start like, around, there's running. really only two of us still here that you have a problem with, alright? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are up. Um, I'll move. Did we win it or lose it this time? Yeah, we lost. Lost. We lost it. Did. That's why me and Sid are going. I moved. Hey, look, another mech. <laughs> I, I probably still can't do shit. <laughs> no, we're out of range, buddy. They'll all move. Yeah, they just got tagged, so they're all going to move back. Oh, look, oh, no. Oh, oh. So, oh hey. So, hey, what he's doing there, buddy? Cauldronborn oh, yeah. wants to play. <laughs> he's feeling a little froggy. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 12, 13. <clears throat> You guys are up. Oh, he's in range. <laughs> uh, it's more correct to say that you're in range. Uh, it's true. He is clan. But also, he's in range of both my PPCs and Goss rifles. What does the Cauldron Born do? He shoots a Goss rifle mm -hmm. and an LRM-10 mm -hmm. and an AC-5? Yep. Well, that's unimpressive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. He's half the weight of the Devastator. <laughs> I mean, he's unimpressive for a clan Mac. You guys right? are up. What, what's what are we doing here? He looks cool AF though. I mean, I would like to shoot. Okay. Well, we have to finish moving. First, yeah, you have so. to finish moving. Yeah, Sorry. that part. Damn Wait. it. Wait one. Um, Any volunteers? Dang. So I'm a little tempted to swoop around the corner here and shoot at this cauldron born. But you guys um, have are in position to do that. But if I do that, he'll probably blow me up. Uh, um, I'm also a little concerned about this hellhound swinging in behind us. You guys could go after the hellhound. But at the same time, he'll just move. Hmm. I think, Citadel, you may need to move real quick. I was going to suggest that either, Brad, one of us, you or I, goes after the cauldron born. The mm -hmm. other waits for the hellhound to move and then goes after the hellhound. The Cauldron Born only has a maximum damage output of 39. Yeah. Yeah, that is on a presser. Okay, Commander One, Data, Mark Zuckerberg. Two, why don't you break three, down the org four, chart here? Five, Let me know the efficiency six, of the. Seven. Can I shoot him from here? No, I probably have to take one more step out. Uh, I think you can. Uh, yes, you can. You shoot from there. That's fine. All right. I'm going to do that then. Do, 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 do. Easily. What's my range here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sid, are you only in range for your Goss or are you range for your LRMs? Both. Oh, okay. So, um, That's a question. Do you shoot after me or do you shoot last again? Um, I'll shoot last again because of the LRMs. That's true. I'm still rolling at nine. You just, but... Yeah. Seven. Which one's the juice to your target? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The Flashman's the juice to your target. Sorry. I'm mean on your side. I'm I'm definitely mean on your side. I had forgotten that that guy didn't move for some reason. That's fine. I'm not too worried about it. You guys are, you should be fucking worried as fuck, dog. That's I believe in you, Rad. <laughs> I'm fine. Don't Rad, don't fine. Going Rad just suddenly went to primary target number one. It's cool. We're taking turns. Yes, you guys. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, an extremely bold move by the victor. All right. Somebody I mean, wants to bad, get some partial that cover. That cat has 84 damage versus the Cauldron Board's 36, so yeah. we drop that booker hard. <laughs> well, I mean, if he shoots everything, the Temper Wolf just melts. <laughs> so we have to think which one's the more problematic mech. Obviously, the Mad Cat. It has more than twice the damage output of the Cauldron Board. Is that without the LRM 20s? Oh, That's well, LRM 20s. You got to look at its heat curve, though. It can't bring all that damage to bear per round. Uh, I think yeah, we can shoot it can. all of its ER lasers. And be fine. Yeah, I guess that's probably what it is. It's 12, 12, 24, 5, 5 is... Yeah, you guys are up. So yeah, it can shoot all its ER large lasers, not build much heat. Is it my turn? Eight, what is it called? Oh, yes. Uh, you have ER at the cotton? I mean, Alpha Strike from that Mad Cat, it'll build 16. Here a bad spot. There's no bad spot, just bad people. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Okay, so the Mad Cat is the more armored mech. Right. Not, not by a lot, though. No. Yeah. I still think the Mad Cat should be the primary. I force. think we need to focus on the mech. Yeah, I'm fine with that. That's ER your lock. that's your final offer there, Cotton. That's where you're you're secure and. I was, I was trying to get some output. Yeah. Play. No. Go yeah. ahead. Get your get oh, your answer. What? <laughs> you're jumping over here. Uh -huh. Well, I ran. I can't jump. Uh. Over. Ran. Oh, you ran. I ran. What, what? What? can this hellhound move? He can move like nine or something like that. Yeah, okay, he's uh, fast. Didn't he already move? Nope. No. No. He'll have lots he can of get like, Well, his movement die is still there. Yeah, he can get all the way mm, into like this that, neighborhood over here. His movement die is just. Cotton's movement back. Yeah, I think yes. uh, no cotton. I think you're. I think you're in a good spot there. I mean, he's gonna turn and shoot some of us in the back, oh, undoubtedly. That does sound right. The conjurer, the hell. Oh, you're talking about hell. I was talking about the summoner. Now, granted, he has to run right into your two firing lines to do that. So y'all gotta y'all gotta decide between him and the mad cat or mad cat. I mean, he, he has to completely expose himself to come shoot it. Right our now, the mad cat is still the bigger threat. Uh, Which one's the Mad Cat? Because none of them are named Mad Cat. Oh, it's oh, named so Timberwolf Mad, Mad Cat. Yeah, I was reading Timberwolf, my bad. Yeah. Clan yeah, mechs have it. two names because they're so super special. I got it now. I'm sorry. We didn't know what the column at first until so we got, you know, figured out what the column. Uh, it's just, it's, it's, are we all fine with Cotton just sitting right there? Yeah, sure. The only, I, I mean, made a wise decision. Yeah, so I, don't run, think, I need to run dice instead of a jump fight this time. Huh? I don't think there are much better alternatives. So. Well, there's the Hellhound that's down out in the open. That's what I was saying. He's gonna have to do that. Okay. So, so, so the the, the, the Mad Cat is a bigger threat, but you have a much higher probability of taking the Hellhound out in a single round. I, than you do the Mad Cat. They're probably thinking that about the Flash Man. They're like, we could probably take him out in a single round. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think it's easier to hit the Timberwolf and the the Mad Cat, though. Okay. Have we all moved? We all moved. We have. You guys are shooting it's easy, first. It's actually easier for us to shoot the, for you and me to shoot the Hellhound. All right. Is it? I mean, at least be he'd at least be at me, he's at medium range for my Gauss rifle, but still long range for the LRMs. What is he for the PPCs? He well, you two big guns are going to go first, so y'all figure it out. For me, the Hellhound is 15 hexes away. And two. And I think I'm one up from you, so he's probably 16 for you. 16, I think that's... that's I think that's still long range for you. That's it's, it's long range for both. I didn't move, so it's not much of an issue. Yeah. So it's tantalizing to get that medium range shot with the Gauss rifle, but I'd rather, I'd rather. I think we need to focus fire on the Temple Wolf. Yeah. Since we have three, four people on him. All right, then you go ahead. Oh, I'm good to go. You want to go ahead? All right, I'll go. I'll go first. Okay. You Since you guys have crit seekers, use them can openers. Uh, start with two. Didn't move, so he moved for two. So it's four. Uh, he's at long range, so I'm shooting at eight. Eight. Going for Gauss Rifle number one. Where does that hit? Three. Is that worthwhile? Nope. Right on. 
Well, I mean, there's weapons in their arm. <laughs> I'm not going to waste the edge on that. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Oh, no, yeah, you can't penetrate, so it's not worth it. Yeah, I know. I saw the crit three crit there. <laughs> it was like, hold on. If you get through, that arm is yeah. gone. <laughs> uh, Gauss number two. Nope. God damn it. What do I hit? Six. That's uh, right. You're going to have to spend a lot of fucking edge on that one, mate. Yeah. I mean, I could just re-roll. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? How many edge do you have left? Uh, two. I don't know. You have three edge to start with now? I've had three edge. My God. You guys are such a pain in the ass. <laughs> well, you've been throwing get... like six edge at us. Yeah. How do you get edge back? Doing yeah, good, good deeds or spending a hundred experience points. Okay. So that, doing... that's only if you run out entirely. Yes. I thought it was twenty experience points if you run out entirely. Now I'm pretty sure you have to pay a full hundred in order to get the first point back. Mm, I don't think it's that much. So what if you don't run out entirely? You just do good deeds. You just yes. generate it back automatically. I think. Okay. I mean, you generate it back by doing good stuff, I'm and the am awarding you with it. Not gonna waste it. Got uh, PPC one. That's a seven. This is four. God, I'm just, just one short all the time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Could I give you an edge? I mean, you could spin your edge on me, yeah. Because I'll hit. Uh, right, right arm. Right arm. Yeah. What's the mech you're shooting at? Temper Wolf. Mag mag uh, right arm for what? 15? 10. 10. Why even bother? Call that one in. One, two, three. Unless four, I could five, retroactively. Six, nah, seven, I'm not going to. 9, 10. There you go. Like, well, now that I hit that arm twice, that would have went through and just messed up that arm. Well, if wishes were fishes, we'd all cast it. PVC two. Oh my god! Come on! Oh come on! <laughs> Only twenty <laughs> edge to refund. Well, congratulations, chat. Uh, you just scienced me. I mean, it's a center torso. I'll spin edge and re-roll that. My god. You guys are going to be completely out of edge by the time they arrive. Oh, fuck. It's a really seven. Oh, no, that, no, that's... that's Don't like update one. it, because you want to leave all those other things in. What it's did a you seven. Need? What did you need? I need eight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why didn't you spin an edge to add one, then, instead of re-roll? Yeah, I'll just spin it. Well, I, just, I want to save it, because I can... He had it. to spin an edge because his first roll was a four. Yeah. And oh. an edge to re-roll it. All right. Oh man. Okay. Uh, I'll hold on the edge. Yeah. God. You done? Yeah, that's me. All right. I am shooting with the uh, Hellhound into the butt of the Flashman. It's a 9 okay. 11 11. Large pulse lasers first. Hell oh, God. yeah. That's a rear torso, center torso head with a critical. I mean, it's Flashman has much? a lot of rear torso armor. Yeah, I have a lot of armor. Uh, ten damage. Okay, still good. He, he had like a lot of armor <laughs> in the back rear torso. <sighs> I mean, that's not a place you want to be taking big hits. No. <clears throat> Eleven. All the shots. Dude, yep. what the shit? <laughs> it finally happened. Uh, that is your left arm. Four. Location six. Okay. It, just didn't it say torso. location right eleven? Torso. Oh, my bad, my bad. Right torso for eleven? Yeah. No, it's right torso for seven. Oh. ER medium laser. Yep. And then let's try to hit for eleven again. Yep. Dude, Same place. Another seven points of damage. I'm gonna need you to make a roll to stay standing. <laughs> you walk out towards the river. This hellbreaker is just like boop 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 boop. Just fires off a wave of lasers and the flashman's rear armor is just like yellow flashing lights everywhere. I'm good for standing. Fuck. How's that rear armor doing, my friend? It's fine. You sure? Yeah, you shot me in. Oh, you shot me in the back. Of, yes, I shot you oh, in the back for 14. Exactly. For 14. Okay. The left. And, no, there's a little bit of internal business going on That's here. Good, 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 good. Good. There you go. I'm fucking punish your ass. <laughs> It I'm was. Okay uh, I'm okay with it though. I think AP is still forgetting that was, there's like four more mechs coming in, and 
I got plenty of mechs to do, man. I got plenty. I'm excited to get something done, Pondo. You guys are like, we blow up the summoner, we blow up the vulture. And I'm like, I run around in a fucking circle and miss every shot. And now my time is coming, sir. Well, I mean, your time is coming. A wave of that. light mechs will be destroyed by your guns. It'll that's, be hilarious. That's, that's entirely false. Was it left or right torso? It was right. Well, okay. It was right. That wave of light mechs is gonna sweep through just in time to, to wipe us all to off. To just finish us off. Yeah, have you looked at the weapon loadout of those light mechs? Yes, I have. Some of them have a battle rating of like 2,500. Yeah. I don't know why you think they're just gonna be inconsequential. I mean, to be clear, most of them are something like two ERPPCs and like five points of armor. And well, for they're two clan ERPPCs, so they just do 15 damage like a gun. <clears throat> Yeah. All right, let's talk about what you people will do for your turn. Uh, I mean, they're freaking light mechs that do damn near as much damage as that cauldron born. Go ahead, Sid. Shoot some guns. All right, I'll shoot some frigging guns. Uh, rolling nines for everything on the Timberwolf. Uh, I'm going to start off with the Gauss rifle. I push the button. Shoot Waiting him in for the something face. to happen. Shoot him in the face. There he goes. That's hey. an 11. Uh, location six for the house. right tarso. Who are you shooting at? Sorry, the timber wolf. All right, right and tarso right. for how much? 15. That right side would hold be all beat up if we had spent all of our edge on it. <laughs> it would just be the arm. Yeah. All right, LRM 15 1 misses, LRM 15 2 hits. Uh, seven, seven, so I think that's nine missiles. Uh, nine. Uh, so the first five hit in the left leg, and the remaining four hit the left arm. Okay. You ready? You done? Yeah, that's all I can do. Okay. Uh, the Timberwolf is going to spot for the rest of the lance on the flashbang. So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, how does AMS work? Do I need to declare that or anything? Yeah, you have to declare it, I think. Okay, well, I'm going to be using AMS on any missiles coming my way. Yeah, you're definitely going to have missiles coming your way. So I don't really know what that means or how that works, but it gives like a minus two on the cluster roll. Yep. Okay. Uh, we will do LRM 20, LRM 20, medium, medium, and then medium pulse. So it's 10, 10, 10, 10, 8. Jeez, Red, you have a lot of guns. I do have a lot of guns. I'm really excited about the top one. That's a hit. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> is the LRM 20? Yes. So, uh, plus your rating four. Four. four is nine hit. All right. The first five hit the right leg. Okay. The next four hit uh, left arm. arm. Uh, left arm. Kay. Second LRM 20. Misses. ER medium laser one. Miss. Two. Miss. Pulse laser. Miss. It is a miss, but I want to figure out whether I want to re-roll that or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll allow it. That is his turn. I'll let you not get messed up this round. Well, I'm fine, guys. Everything's fine. We're all fine here. 16... <laughs> How are, you? How are you? <laughs> 27, 28. I generate no heat. Of course you don't. Of course would you? Don't. You guys are up. I generate heat for you shooting me. <laughs> Actually, yes, because you had to use your AMS. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I go? Well, yeah, the AMS doesn't uh, engage in this. In this is actually yes, your AMS this. does build heat. <laughs> uh, you could have Rad go or you could go. You do have the AC 20. You have a plus yeah, one. I mean, I'm, I'm on an 11 to hit though, so. Uh, let's go let Rad do it then. I think he has okay. much far less. So with the AMS, it only kicks in if there's actually a missile hit, but you've got to declare it on he, the attack he, you want. He did. It. He declared he was using it. 
Okay. Oh, but was it was it a hit? Yes, the yeah. first one hit. Okay, yep. no worries. Can I say I want to use it every single time yes. someone shoots missiles at me this right. turn? No, once once per turn, basically. Oh, so ah, once per turn. Okay. One missile attack per turn takes a minus four. Minus Obviously, four, you just need four. multiple AMSs then to awesome, uh, awesome. Oh, all, so all laser that's AMSs. That's I should have fewer. taken less damage then. Then you only hit six. Yeah, it's minus yeah. four on the cluster roll. Yep. Okay. So that means the the four points to your leg would become a uh, one, one point to your leg. Okay, I'll fix that in a second. So I'm ten away. It's medium range. Start with three, four, five for running. Uh, six for his. Seven, eight for medium range. Eight for three large lasers. Is what it's going to be, boys and girls at the timber wolf. So large laser number one. Is whoops. That hit? Sorry, I'm pushing a button. I didn't want to push. I probably fucked it all up. Uh, it hits in the eight. Okay, it was a hit. It was a nine before you rerolled that. It, it, the location was nine before I did that. Okay. No, no, no. So the the hit roll was a nine before. Oh, the hit roll was a nine. So it is a hit. Yeah, nothing else changed with the update. I don't think did it. I don't. Uh, no. Think so. No, um, no, because the 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 locations, all that, they're in the bowl. I don't think we updated before he's rolled it again. So yeah, a left the left piece. shot in the torso, left Thanks torso, so. left torso for eight. Got it. And then the next large laser. You're shooting at the timber wolf, correct? Yep. Next large laser will. Why is it not updating? What's happening here? It did oh, update. Yeah, okay. You have an eleven. It did? Did an eleven? Yeah. Oh, I'm left looking at wrong. Okay. Uh, location ten. Eleven. No, eleven is uh, left arm for left arm. Left arm for eight, and then last large laser. Oh, hit is a miss. Uh, is right That's arm. A oh, it is a hit. I'm losing my mind over here. It's fine. It's, Sorry, it's right like up the first day back for eight again. Yeah. Yeah. What? Right arm for eight. Got right. it. Okay, that's it. That's all I got. Very well. Oh wait, one, two, three. Yeah, no, he's too far. I could have shot my rear medium laser at this nerd behind me, but he's definitely out of my That made it more difficult. Oh, because oh, that's true. You be splitting, splitting fire and yeah. yeah, but there's no penalty to shoot the primary target. No, is there not? No, it's it's just so you... a penalty for every secondary target. That's it. Oh, man. oh, I think we did it before. It was like a penalty on each of the targets, like just a plus. Yeah, plus. I corrected you last game though. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's you probably did. I probably forgot because it's been a while. <laughs> I know. I remember you being wrong last time too. <laughs> Idiots. Three, uh, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine. And then it's going to be Goss, EC5, LRM10, medium laser. Uh, I'm going to spend one point of edge to bump that up to a center torso Goss hit. Against who? The, um, the rad. The Flashman. Oh, I would have accepted the Goss hit if he uh, had. 15 points of damage. Sure. No problem. That brings me down to three points of edge. That's a miss. That's a hit. Uh, center torso with the LRM 10s. Uh, 10? Yes. What was it? Clutch roll four? Doesn't the. Yep. Oh, you only, get the, the, you only get the AMS against one. Yep. The nine, and how many hits? Nine. Nine missiles. Or LRM four. 10. All right, you take oh, four more center torso damage. Oh, it's, it's clutch rolls four, so it's 10. No, four. Okay, all right, good. No problem. And that's a miss as well. And I generate no heat. <laughs> that's right, he's mm -hmm. very heat neutral. Now you need to add 20 heat for what you got hit with. Uh, uh, you guys are up? <laughs> yep. I have to roll for shutdown. All right, I'll shoot. Looking for 11s on the Timberwolf. Oh, that's, a that's, it. that's 20 damage uh, in the uh, left torso. God, AC 20, I miss you so much. That's a three internal. 
Yeah, but no, no crit. Very well. Okay, then the medium laser. It's a miss. And the SRMs. That is, um, I will just see seven. Is that both missiles? Oh, well, that's some 400 missiles, is that? Uh, seven is uh, three missiles. I will edge, I'll spend my last point of edge to put that up to a hit. And I need to spend so a point be... of edge to stay standing. Okay. So is that so point that's... of edge go along with the other guys that you have? No, they're going to bring in another six points of edge. Well, oh, shit. God. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Arthur, that's two points left leg. Okay, two points left leg. Then two points right arm. Yep. Then two points left arm. Got it. Cool. I was really hoping for a left torso there. Yeah, me too. That's right. <laughs> it's like, so was I. I thought you had four hit. No, it was only three. No, three out of four. Three out of four hit. Oh, it's in this room four. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, uh, Mad Dog's going to go, and I think I'm going to try to fire Spotted on the Flashman. Uh, so let's see here. The Timberwolf gives me one, two, three. Uh, mediums, four, five, eight, nine, and eleven. You got the one for, you got the one for spotting? Yeah. And it's elevens. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Ten, eleven. Are you sure? Yep. What did you start at? I think that's actually thirteens. Sure. Uh, your bad dog. Did you, did your bad dog four, run? Five. Yeah, it did. Five, uh, two from the timber wolf, because he ran. So seven, medium range, eight, nine, sads of at rad's evasion. Uh. Actually, be rolling twelves. Yeah, twelves. Yeah. All right. I'm still going for it. Nope. Man, nope. Okay. I'll uh, just count back just in case you know it did land on eleven. You guys are up. I think the only one who can shoot now is Cotton. Can I shoot the Ghost Rifle at the Summoner? Is that the only thing you're shooting? You can shoot a PPC and sink all your heat. Yeah. If I shoot an APC as well, but. No more heat. Uh, you you can you sink all your heat if you shoot both. Just one PPC. One not? gas, one PPC. Yeah, one gas, yeah, one PPC. You'll be fine. I'll, I'll shoot them both at the summoner. I think uh, since okay. I ran it to two, and then my piloting's two, and it's two for medium range. Uh, I don't so know if he has six. it. I don't he think did. He I don't know where that die went, uh, but he walked, and he's got I partial he's cover. Walked. So so eight. So, so eight. eight for short. So you're looking at ten. Ten. All right. The Goss rifles first. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Where's the hit? What did you need? Ten. Ten. What it side hit the is it? Anyway, as soon as it hit the hill. It's left side hit. Left side. Oh, left side. Hit the right torso. Right torso. The right torso. Uh, like... How is this right torso? I think it's fine. It's center torso. It's great. Swap. Yeah, his right torso uh, is actually great. Uh, I mean, he doesn't have much armor, but no. It doesn't crit, so. In the PPC? Yep, go ahead. Uh, it looks like that's a hit. Eight is. Center torso. Center torso. Center torso. Oh. Okay. Fuck. Oh. Summoner. The summoner, attempting to uh, flee the scene, turns briefly in order to torso twist and fire, and right through all of the holes, the PPC travels through it. However, it's also the summoner's turn. Then you can still fire. So, Cotton's first outing, and she already got more kills than I did my entire first season. Mm -hmm. I want to open the comm song enough to say it's nothing personal, kid. <laughs> <laughs> All you hear, you hear the screeching rage of a man baby going, ah! <laughs> Open fire with everything on you. Uh, so he's three, four. Uh, did you not move far enough to trigger? Uh, nope. Okay, then. I don't know where she was. Yeah, no. I moved um, three, but I had to go up a level and turn. Yep, so that's not enough access. Three, to... uh, oh, three, three, three will give a plus one. Yeah. Uh, so three, four. Should be same roll. Five. Actually, it's one six, less. Actually, one more. Seven, eight. I'm, I'm only shooting at eights, bro. Are you at me short range? 
Medium. Did you walk? So three, four. Eight, nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that pencils. Uh, okay. Four, what order to shoot things six. in? I think seven, it eight. should go. Eight short. No, oh, no, it's not. It's just me to me. I'm sorry. Medium. It's been a while. If it was short, it'd be even easier to hit with. It's been a while. Remember, he's minus two with the PPC because of the shoulder hit. Uh, all right, let's open with that then. <laughs> Go for a 10. 80, 10. That does uh, not look 10. like a 10. You're about seven short. LRMs. Nope. LBX. That, that is a hit. To your right, right arm. arm. 10 it's points of damage. Action. Well, he screeches in rage and explodes. Three, four, six, eight, nine. Oh, okay, does he eject? Strange how that works. Dead. Uh, it doesn't matter. He's just going to stab himself anyway before we can capture him. of Annihilation on you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that is. Is there anybody left to shoot? I haven't shot yet. No, right. yes, I did. Yes, you did. Disregard. You, you certainly did, sir. Is there anyone that's not a liar that has left to shoot? <laughs> I, mean, I believe I'd everybody shot. Twice. I'd like to try to shoot again because it's just, you know. No, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for the first episode of season three. AKA Falling Cherry is the name of this episode. A lot more got done in these last few rounds than I thought with all of the like running around and not fighting that was happening. Unfortunately, the thing that's getting done is me. Uh, however, you still have like four OMX coming in. The so next round is where, uh, so at the beginning of the next episode is when I place my clan mechs and arrive just in time to destroy you. Yeah, it's, I, just, I don't know what you're worried Pretty about. Getting destroyed. Uh, Arthur, maybe it's because I'm already down one and a half mechs, man. He's so excited at the idea of destroying his own show by killing his entire cast. <laughs> First episode of the third. So happy! I can't wait for it, guys. I can't wait it, to make all of my players. Let me tell you something. One of the best missions in Mech Warrior Two Mercenaries is where uh, you get captured by the clans after you get fucking wrecked. And then it's like an escape mission, and you get some clan mechs, and shit is bitching as hell. Why would we be captured, though? This is a trial of annihilation. Yeah, it is a trial of annihilation, us. but I want to point out, they literally just laid a trap that you fell into super easily. We didn't really fall into we it. We ran really into have it. A, a choice in this particular matter. <laughs> well, as that's true. As far as the narrative is concerned. I mean, well, I mean really... technically, let's point out that you could have interpreted that message, but you didn't. It was quite literally the serenity scene. Did you see us argue? No. Trap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can, I make a Can I make a suggestion? Yes. Oh, yeah. No. If somebody does die, when you build your new character, put all your points into Edge by <laughs> exceptional attribute Edge because you fucking love Edge. So. Like, they love Edge now. Edge. They barely ever used it before. Now they're just like, I, I spent my Edge on everything. Tell me, James, as a, as a veteran of this game, I mean, what's tip? What, what's the typical amount of edge that's used or bought into on characters? Like, do you see it, it this much? This is the funny thing. I'm not a veteran of the RPG. I'm a veteran of the war game because right. the RPG, not a lot of people play because it's not good. As far as systems go, it's it's a, it's a hard one to get your head around. Yeah, it and is. in fact, I actually found this channel in the first place to see somebody else playing the RPG in order to get a feel for how other people do the rules. Now, I'm very sorry I've, that this is how you, what you ended up with. <laughs> I've spent more time with it since, but I'll say in my own group, um, everybody has dumped standard edge down to a two or a best of three. Really? So, yeah. Well, I have four and haven't used any yet, just so you all know. I have know. four and I've used three. <laughs> I also have the attractive trait, so I'll be destroying yeah. people in charisma rolls whenever that comes up. Doesn't that just I, give I, you I a plus game. one if someone's attracted to you? No, if they're attracted to my gender, which is fe so if anyone who's attracted to a female, I get a plus two on any charisma skill check against them. Mm -hmm. If they're not attracted to my gender, I still get a plus one on any charisma check against them. 
Um, it sounds like you I... learned from sucking at charisma rolls. Yeah, yeah. I played a face character, something our party never has, has never had. Yeah, in my own game, I actually used an enemy last week that actually had RPG stats and gave them the natural aptitude uh, gunnery trait. And that was so ridiculous in the war game. Like if anybody's look, they've got to spend 500 points on something, natural aptitude and a skill is, is incredible. It's roll three dice, take the best two. Ooh, natural aptitude. Yeah. That's a heavy cost at 500 XP though. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, with, with Pondo saving for Sniper, for example, that's also a hefty cost. I think I might do the range master. I don't know if you've seen anybody make good use of that and just take like medium I mean, range <laughs> and be really good at medium range with large lasers. Seems like maybe a good, good pick. A weird choice. Yeah, Strange I'm, flex, all, but... I'm on the fence about it. I mean, so far I seem to have. I wanted to see how hard it was to like make my money at medium range and stay within that um, that thing. And so far it's been kind of it's been very easy, at least on this battlefield in these circumstances. So. Right, you know what I'm on the fence about? Whether or not I can support whether or not I can support this channel at patreon.com slash real. Did you know that if you support this channel, two of the people that are on this show will end up getting the vast super majority of the money that you sure. give me. Patreon is so important for content creators, boys and girls. It's absolutely important. The content you... creators he's talking about are himself and Cotton, not me. <laughs> Don't it's be deceived for support, a moment. You support these uh, these channels and this content that you enjoy so greatly. <laughs> Even just a dollar a month. Come on. Then you get access to our secret Patreon channel where I talk about That's all right. my evil plans. Mm -hmm. It's true. Speaking of evil plans, let's do some outros. Uh, and by outros and evil plans, what I mean is I would like to talk about the other shows that I currently have ongoing. And then we'll do everybody else's outros. Uh, it's not that I don't like them. It's just that I feel like what I have to say is more important. I was really hoping for some reactions there, but nothing. It's like talking to a bunch of sphinxes or cats. Work with me. I was me. distracted. Sorry. That's fine. Whatever. I'm okay. Sorry, look. What? <laughs> next monday is the final episode of cankel will they live will they die who will tell their story can humanity be saved find out probably i mean like if they fail it'll be super sad i mean if it relies on my rolling six-sided dice we're totally screwed so. wednesday night hey, maybe i'll just block it all for you again <laughs> wednesday night is my regular D D 5e campaign where when the players die they reset to the beginning of the campaign Retaining all of their experience and memories, but none of their equipment. Thursday nights, of course, I'm here doing this show. And uh, towards the end of the month, I'm launching On the Table's Top Season 2, Tuesday nights, where four artists will come in. One of them will live draw what's happening during the session. And then every week we'll rotate which artist is drawing. It's going to be bitching as hell. Uh, I mean... I feel like you can show up at the show and find out. Damn it! You know what? I feel like you can watch and find out. Ah, oh, it's been so long since I got to use that, and I can't believe I messed it up. <laughs> but enough about me. You know who else we can talk about? Is Grimdark James. My goodness, this man makes a podcast. James, let's do that outro thing where you tell us about some bitchin' podcasts and Imperial Guard play. That's it, yeah. So the Grimdark podcast cover off uh, Warhammer 40k role playing. We do a lot of talk about role playing in general as well. So um, that, we, the podcast is just grimdarkpodcast.com. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, uh, playing around with Discord now. I've only sort of found Discord through Arthur's channel in the first place. But uh, yeah, if you're interested in that setting or just general role play chat in general, we do a one and a half hour show currently once a month or two times a month, a um, couple of of long time game players sort of 30 plus years experience in game playing each and talk about this show as well on that from time to time too i'll talk about what we do gaming wise in the in the fortnight leading up to each show so i've obviously mentioned the group here a few times and uh yeah it's been nice to sort of i've, I've heard about some people reciprocally coming across and checking out our show because of this too so i would also encourage my own listeners to come and check out uh, arthur's channel i mean all, all of my followers should go check out your channel because these people who watch this show are probably going to get into Warhammer 40k. That's uh, they they cater to a similar community. I you mean, got anything else honest, going on? I was going to say that um, you know, 
Warhammer 40k came around because of Battletech. Games Workshop wanted something to, to sort of capitalize on the success that Battletech was enjoying when they were just an importer exporter of D&D in the United Kingdom. So really it's because of Battletech that 40k exists. Speaking uh, of, is it true yeah. that the beginner box is finally coming out next uh, next month? Like on the yep, 8th? Yep. So apparently it, um, uh, Catalyst say it's arrived in their warehouse. So mm -hmm. people that had orders should be getting it soon. And I think, yeah, the early February, the beginner box, they haven't yet given a date on the starter box. So I missed out at Gen Con, unfortunately. I, I walked past the stand when they had thousands of boxes on their stand. And when I walked back about an hour later, they're all gone. So uh, I kicked myself for not uh, picking one up then. But uh, yeah, I've been actually uh, hitting Ironwind Metals up pretty heavily, buying a lot of mech miniatures from there and painting those too. So it's uh, good quality stuff. But yeah, that's been my basically uh, my own sort of tabletop gaming group really is right now doing Battletech. That's our sort of current main game. So similar to Arthur's game as well, Mercenary Command. Uh, but it's still, I'm doing mine still in the 3020s. So it's uh, not the same. Popular time zone. It is. It is, but it does mean a lot of heat management, <laughs> a lot of uh, yeah, screwing around with um, amateur explosions as well. It also means no clans, though. Yep, yeah, definitely. We're sort of doing it right at the start of the Star League cache discovery and uh, all, the, all the sort of advancements going on with that. So bits and pieces are coming into the game as we go. I'm the okay group got that. their hands on a Star League mech, and now they've had NPCs coming after them every other session to try and take it off them. You know, obviously they aren't worthy to wield it. And the best way to come after them would be to pay the cooks to poison their food rather than to try to blow them up. Because they'll just well, blow so you, you blow them up, the mech's gone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's poison. That's how you go down. Yeah, well, I did actually... I, I poisoned characters in the last game, actually. It's, it's funny you should say that because one character got drugged into unconsciousness, so... Yeah, I can't wait until the sixth episode of the show where I poison Rad's character. Can't wait. Got it on my calendar. <laughs> That's odd because I was planning on figuring out how we could poison all the clanners. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to get to the clan uh, nutrient vat facility where they get their protein bars. <laughs> you make their protein you realize paste. they eat the poison and you get sick. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> this joke. They just convert the poison into like and your body temperature rises four degrees emit into the air <laughs> yeah then you get real hot for some reason yeah you, you get a temperature you, you, bust up, you break into a fever uh, all right cotton you're a person that does stuff on the internet despite the fact you say you don't actually do stuff on the internet what do you do when you're pretending not to do stuff ah uh, i don't really do that much though i Mm -hmm. Doodle for like mainly you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. When I'm not on the internet, I sort mail. It's a very thrilling job. Better than me. I I gotta be sorted. Sit and watch TV. Well, I mean, I sit and watch commercials. That's what I do. Stand at a machine and just put mail in it. That's about it. All right. You don't want to talk about play by post or anything like that? Oh, yeah, I've got one of those. Do you, I mean, do you at this point? It's hard to tell. You can't even remember whether you've got one or not. I do. I do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a very slow paced one, but there is a play by post that I run with Pondo. I've been, I've been trying to speed it up since I've had some spare time. I try to speed up my mine a little bit, but. You know, I think time zones kind of contribute to the very slow movement of it. If people wanted to join the lazy river of play by posts, how would they do it? Uh, they could either message me or post on your Discord, because most of them are on there, and I'll send them a link. My goodness, how efficient. I mean, look, I'm really afraid to talk to this next person because they're distracted. It's rad. The best time to talk to Rad is when he's doing something else. A puppy! He's muted, though. This is my dog. Her name, her name is Kirby. Hello, dog. Oh, she She's not really appreciating being held at this particular moment. She looks fine to me. I'll put her down. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, she's a good dog. Uh, my name's Red. Here I am on the internet. This is where you can find me every Thursday on the internet, right here. All dogs are uh, good dogs, Red. All dogs are good dogs. Uh, <clears throat> I frequent Arthur's Discord, so you can find me on there if you want to tell me I'm dumb or how cool I am. So you can do either of those things on Arthur's Discord. I hang out on a few other Discords, but I'm, I've scaled back significantly my, my Discord presence uh, recently. Just taking a break. Got some other stuff going on. Um, I really enjoyed tonight's session. I always have a great time whenever uh, James comes and plays with us. So I'm looking forward to getting to next week. I always learn a lot. Um, so that was just as true this time as it was the first time he came and played with us. Um, what else? I don't know. I think we're hosed. I think uh, I'm probably going to die, and that's fine, even though I put a lot of work into this character. It's okay. It's just the way it goes, I guess. <laughs> I honestly don't um, know where this is going to go. Yeah, I think we're probably going to have to run away at some point. If we um, die, at least I take not really out sure. with me. I think uh, there was a big pivoting moment when our two assault mechs basically missed all their shots on that Timberwolf. I think that could have completely changed the course of the game had that gone a little differently. Yeah. Um, so I think I'm having flashbacks of running around in a cri crippled axe man <laughs> on borrowed time. Now I kind of feel like I'm back there again. Um, yeah. See. And yeah, I don't know. Just uh, thanks for coming and watching the show. I, I didn't look to see how many people were watching at any point tonight, but Arthur made it seem like a lot of people were back that had uh, been viewers for the first two seasons. So that's awesome. It's great to have people back watching. Um, it's great to be back playing. I really missed playing this game. So I was pretty pumped to be back tonight. It's uh, it was a little bumpy for me being in a new place. So you got to, I guess, more or less meet my family on stream tonight as they ran back and forth behind me. Um, they kind of seemed excited to be part of the... They were. My my wife was like, I like you having your show at the house because you're here and I get to be obnoxious behind you. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Is that the exact I, reason why? More or less, probably. Okay. Um, she loves to troll me. And I got, I got up to get my daughter grapes at one point. And I think that's probably when my son started dancing in front of the camera or something. I'm not even really yeah. sure what he was doing, but yeah. So there'll probably be a lot more of that as time goes on. They will continue to do those things. Hopefully it doesn't detract from the show experience too much. Um, and it doesn't take you away from the battle tech magic as you watch uh, battle tech Thursday nights here on Arthur's channel. Um, but that's it for me. Really? I don't have a whole lot else going on. So yeah, there was a question. What happened to Rad's old character? Uh, on Solaris 7, there is a new uh, gladiator sponsored by the mercenary unit Crows Black by the name of El Huapo. Uh, That's right. Every few weeks, his mech is destroyed as he uses <laughs> high-flying, uh, electrifying Lucha Libre moves. It's true. Uh, but even with some small defeats, his string of victories has allowed him to continually buy new melee-themed Lucha mechs. It's true. All, all with his trademark um, Day of the Dead paint job on each of them, of course. Indeed. indeed. Um, we didn't really get into new characters. I guess that's going to wait until we're kind of out it of It was supposed match. to happen in the first episode, but yeah, uh, we got delayed. It. I know. Instead there was a lot less role-playing and a lot more shooting in this episode than I had Which hoped for fine. a season opening, but... I'm not you know. sure if that's like, maybe that's what people wanted. I don't know. I, I'm not a very good judge, I feel like, of what Who can people say? come to the show for. The so. important part is we, we have to work with what we've got. Yeah, we'll have some of those cool moments, I feel like, when everybody finally climbs out of their mech after this battle. I don't I feel like, listen, I feel like Cotton got in a fucking stealth, like, zinger right there. Like oh, an yeah. AC-20 the hit to my engine block. Um, are we going to do any flashbacks? If anyone is able to climb out of their cockpits at the end of this, I will be extremely happy. Yeah, that's true. Are we going to do any flashbacks for, like, the um, the dead space between the last events of season two and then i know like what, five or six months went by before yeah clan invasion yep. okay later cool. on I'm, I'm excited all right uh speaking of someone who's excited let's talk to you <laughs> not pondo he's never excited about anything let's talk to sid <laughs> well i'm excited i had i i got to shoot something tonight so i'm i'm happy about that i had a lot of fun i missed BattleTech. i really did so thank you to everyone who came out and watched us after that exceptionally long uh, hiatus while we got prepped for the new season and i really look forward to next week 
And also going to be back on Monday to wrap up Can Cole here. So don't forget to come back and check that out. And hopefully I'll be able to get a video out for the first time in like a week tomorrow night. My God, day job has been kicking my butt lately. But uh, yeah, had a lot of fun. Thanks for everyone come watching. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get some videos out for people to watch this weekend. Hondo, you're the chillest motherfucker in existence. I don't think I've ever been able to make you angry. Even when you're chain betrayed by your own teammates and set up to be a terrorist mastermind, you still just accept it equanimously. No, I was upset about that. I didn't I didn't feel that level of upset. I felt like you were just like, all right, how do I deal with this? Well, it was more of a I was upset, but I was very passively upset because like, well, this is happening. My he was pretty salty about it. Oh, uh, I'm salty about it. That's about He's as far still as salty as about it. I'm still very salty about it. Listen, I know about being salty about that play by post. <clears throat> Pondo, when you are uh not being either salty or completely calm, what are you and where do you do the that thing? Uh, I'm part of the mad. I do gameplay stuff. Uh, currently, I'm hoping. Kingdom right Hearts Three. Preparing, Kingdom Hearts uh, Three. Yeah, that's definitely. Uh huh. Uh, I'm right now. I'm kind of preparing to move at the moment. So, so everything is on wait until February, essentially. Listen, Tom, I, I need you to do a voiceover playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 3 and explain to me what the fuck is happening. Everyone's just like, yeah, Aqua. And I'm like, who the fuck is Aqua? Who are any of these people? I could do that. Who's getting Zorned? Like, I guess I know about Xehanort, right? But that was like a decade ago. Xehanort? Don't even explain uh, it to me now. Just okay. don't. I'll literally go into a coma and die. <laughs> That's fair. It's a bit late for that. Perhaps another time. Stay uh, wild. Planning on have some plans for when I in late about February that hopefully I'll be able to as I'm searching for a job as well after I move. But yeah, I say you can catch my stuff hopefully in the future at either YouTube or TV or Twitch TV slash Pawn of the Mad. Excellent. Anyone have some closing thoughts? I have a closing thought. Solo is on Netflix, but I still have no desire to see it. Yep, there it is. I just think, I just think we're just all gonna die. That's it's about. It's, it's, a, thing, it's a thing you could watch. If you I think mean. you're gonna die, why don't you just run away now? I won't get away because I am in a devastator. I'm too slow for that. Because my plan was to follow Rad, and I'm gonna keep following Rad. <laughs> I can't run away until he runs away. Oh, the, arm, the armorless boy. Rad. I, w I want to inform you of something real quick, is that Rad is like almost twice as fast as you are. I, I noticed that when I was trying to follow When Rad goes to run away, like, you're not going to be able to keep up. Your butt but will you know, be facing the wrong direction. Match up, mess up that vulture, though. That is a good thing. <sighs> oh. So can I point out, by the way, that um, MechWarrior 5 Mercs went on pre-order this week as well. Whoa. Is it not I, I, I've already sunk my 120 US dollars for the as as edition. So, yeah. Didn't, was it Kickstartable or something? No. No. no, no well, then I guess I need to pre order it as well. Good call. Good yeah. call. Was Close beta access. Edition? And you get, you get, I'm, um, I'm violating my own precepts of thou shalt not pre order, but let's face oh it. Oh my God, Sid. Did you just let's remove battle. the stick up your butt? <laughs> I mean, obviously, that will never happen. <laughs> So, well, it's only for what, it, for what it's it costs, only... you get twice that amount of credit for MechWarrior Online as well. Mm -hmm. uh, that value worth of credit in MechWarrior Online. Interesting. If you play that, I don't play that. That so that might not be. I don't, but I've always there's been a, kind of interested in it. I have an account for it, so I can just apply credit for that, and then in five years, when I decide to play MechWarrior Online again, I'll be like, ah, yeah, now I can forward the next level of Catapult. So I, I don't play the game, but I use it for screenshots in my own Battletech game. Oh, Mod like, do the yeah. mech modifications so it puts all the weapons in the right spot when people modify the mechs yeah. and then screenshot that and print it out for the characters. Not bad. Nice work. That's a good call. That's a good thought to end on. We'll be back next week, 8 o'clock, Thursdays. Uh, the week after that, however, I'll be in Philadelphia. So. 
Eight. Well, look, we're not all on Rhinosaurus time. Uh, hey, who? Uh, well, I was basically on time today, wasn't I? Like eleven <laughs> minutes late. Oh, say so it's in, yeah. Sure, you were less late than normal. You know, I had a. Uh, and it was only a fifteen-minute intro. We went I'm very quickly. That. Yeah, next week we also have to have a short intro. It's going to be like three weeks until I can spend the first fifty minutes talking about anime. Look, out of everybody here, I have the most external factors that affect when I can sit yeah, down. Yeah, no table. one's blaming. Well, I mean, like, people are me. blaming you, but we understand <laughs> when we blame you. I mean, you saw my external fast factors running around dancing in front of the camera. So, sorry, how many kids ride? Oh, you, you got three, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, you got me beat. <laughs> yours, are, yours are better trained, I guess. I don't well, know. I, I got to say, my my eldest son has, has discovered watching people play Fortnite on YouTube. Uh... When he heard I was going to be streaming on YouTube effectively today, he wanted to be involved so badly. Uh, he was standing outside the door, banging his head on the door for the first half an hour. <laughs> yeah, mine are seven and four, and I don't, I don't have an extra room in my house for a computer, so I literally have to sit myself in the living room. Uh, so it's, it's open game, basically, for them to come and dance in front of the camera. I can't stop it. My wife's only one person. She's outnumbered back there, so... Pretty adorable, though. Yeah, she I don't think any of us mind. Uh, she's trying to run interference, but she, like I said, she's just you. To... Your uh, it's yeah. your interpretation whether you want your kids dancing in front of a camera. Oh, I'm fine. I mean, I don't care. Okay, but we don't care. They're eventually going to figure out how to turn the mic on, though. I want you to know that. <laughs> no. There's going to be children screaming at you over the audio. The keynote is that uh, you need to practice your kids doing Fortnite dances, so we can get in on no, that no, money. No. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Neither of my children are aware of the existence of Fortnite, and I plan to keep it that way. So keep it that way until it dies. Eventually. My son is a is a Minecraft kid, so I'm perfectly happy with that. I feel like that's that's it. We're out. We'll be back next week. Have a good night, y'all. <laughs>